Hello, I'm back from Chocolate Canyon here home and I'm going to go over how I edited these photos um, that I took at Chaco Canyon and uh, hopefully uh, that explains some of my thought process. So uh, here we go. morning. We're here at Chaco Canyon, Pueblo Benito. Um, it's over a thousand years old and we're going to shoot the doorways here this morning. Um, the sun's just coming up and uh, we're going to go in inside here and we're going to check out some of these awesome uh, doorways that they have and uh, hopefully get some cool shots. So uh, let's go see. set up in here. Got my Canon 5 DSR 2470 lens. Um, I'm pretty wide right now. I'm right at 24 millimeters. The space in here is pretty small. I got this really nice doorway right here. Um, probably one of the iconic ones and then you've got a series of doorways behind. Uh, my settings this morning are pull up here F13 because I have a lot of depth of field. Um, ISO 100 and let's change that. I'm going to change that down. I'm going to go to F16. And that gives me about well, about an eighth of a second time and I'm using shade for my uh, white mounts. Um, I could use auto white balance in here and then correct it, but I'd rather get it as close as possible um, this morning. So we're going to take a couple shots and see how it comes out and focus on this, this wall. So I'm going to take a picture of this using this wall right here, this first wall as a plane, and then I'm going to reach in and I'm going to grab the next wall, which is straight ahead of me, and I'll show you here on the video in a second. And then I can focus stack if I don't have enough depth of field later. Okay. The light in here is just gorgeous right now. Um, it, uh, it just doesn't get any better than that. Okay. All right. So, I think I pretty much got this shot the way I wanted it. Um, I've been planning to come here for quite a while. Uh, I think I'm going to just, while I'm here, I'm going to do a real quick little pano, and um, that'll give me a little bit more data. Alright, so I'll get back to you in just a minute. So we're coming to another room. As you can see, we've got a really nice, nice set of doorways going way down in there. Um, these are evidently the original doorways. Um, the the stonework in here is just amazing. We'll come over here and we're gonna take a little peek at some of this. It's just truly an amazing, amazing place. So here we are. Now we're looking back at that other doorway. So looking back at that doorway, that might be another shot. Um, Pretty remarkable how well they built all this with very limited tools. So I'm going to set up here and we'll uh, hopefully get some more pictures here in just a second. Well, made it back out and uh, done shooting already in there. Pretty cool stuff. Um, had a great time in here. Um, we'll go back and look at our pictures and see what we got but I think we got a couple of good ones that uh, will be pretty cool. Um, one of my one of my bucket list items off the 
checked off there and uh, I'm gonna go and explore a little bit more this place is amazing um, it's a really bad road to get here um, 21 miles of dirt road the last four miles are really rough um, part of the road was washed out because they had rains four weeks ago um, they don't maintain the last four miles of the road so it uh, I wouldn't advise it for uh, a regular passenger car but any SUV should be able to get out here without too much trouble so we'll uh, we'll go look around some more and check out what we can see okay got the files at the back into Lightroom and this is the doorway and we're gonna work on editing in that so this a couple of things in this picture um, I couldn't really help up in here that was um, a window up there that just there was nothing I can do about it but so I'm just gonna remove that in the picture um, when I'm done here so all right we'll go and develop and first thing I'm gonna do is set my white point and as you can see that's my white point so I'm not gonna worry about that and then I'll set my black point Okay, and I'm going to warm it up just a little tiny bit, okay, add just a, uh, about 10 points of clarity, 11 looks good, a little tiny bit of vibrance, and I'm going to take this off into Photoshop now, so... Photoshop. Okay, so I got it in here in Photoshop and I'm using the ADP Panel Pro 2. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a duplicate layer. And we're going to fix that spot there. And I'm just going to use a healing brush. All right, that'll be good enough for now. Oops. Okay. So I'm going to come in and we'll go with the try mids three. Uh, okay. I'm just going to do a little curve selection here. So, bring that down just a little bit and up a little bit. And I don't need to do a lot of editing on this one because I got it pretty close to correct. Um, and yes, the doorway is crooked. Uh, so, I'll do a little bit of, I think I'm going to try some vibrance here. A little bit, and oops, a little too much saturation there. So I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. I'm just just still kind of give me fits I'll have to work on it some more but 
you're basically getting the kind of the idea. I'll just keep coming back. So we'll flatten it out and then we'll save it and we'll bring it back in the light Lightroom for a few last little tweaks and then uh, should be pretty close. So that's the simple edit that I did to, uh, to this image. And uh, I'll probably set it aside, um, come back in a week or so and look at it again and just keep kind of going over the image, looking at different parts of it. Um, just looking for little, little flaws and stuff. Um, but I wish, I wish the log had been still in that spot, but the log had obviously rotted away. So, but that's about it, and um, I might come back eventually and just take these footprints out here, just because they will show up when you print it. So, um, that's, that's the finished product, so...